Hey everyone, what's good? My name is Chan and welcome to my fourth Chicago Auto Show vlog video. Uh, starting in 1901, the Chicago Auto Show uh, is like the oldest and largest auto show in the country. I, I believe that's the case. If you haven't attended before, Chicago Auto Show is actually held in the uh, McCormick Center. Unlike the Detroit Auto Show or the SEMA uh, show in Las Vegas, uh, the Chicago Auto Show is more consumer facing, so less on concepts and what's coming down the road and more along of like, hey, it's coming soon or you can get it right now. So normally, uh, my friend Wes and I, we start out in the Toyota section of the auto show, but this year felt like we kind of had to. Uh, there was a Nintendo Switch Grand Highland. It was completely like LED'd out. You had a, two giant screens. They had Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I mean, what's not to love? Uh, the second was the Toyota Sports Festival. They had a section to mimic speed skating. Uh, the surface was crazy slippery. I have absolutely no idea how athletes do it for real. Uh, there was a skateboard section, uh, but unfortunately, it wasn't complete when we arrived, so no real footage there. There was a height jumping section, and that was really fun. <laughs> you didn't need to fix that set. Apparently they did need to reset the seven. <laughs> they had a section where you could maintain your balance while you spin, similar to like figure skaters. Spoiler alert, I did pretty poorly. They even had a section on how Paralympians compete. One was a bike with only one pedal, uh, and the other was for those who could only use their arms. Both were really difficult. I was incredibly slow, and it was really tiring. Uh, absolute respects to uh, those individuals that do compete in those sports. Um, there was a sprinting section. Wes and I did some curling. Uh, they had wheels at the bottom and they even had a portion for wheelchair basketball. Finally, there was a pool photo op and you know I love these, so uh, here's that clip. And at the end of that, we got this awesome medal uh, and I will cherish it for <laughs> now that we're through the um, the not vehicle portion of this like let's get into like the uh, the next session we visited which was like the Ford section uh, the car that I was most excited to see was the Ford Mustang Dark Horse it's been some time since Ford made a performance series uh, vehicle the last one was the Mustang Bullet in 2001 looks gorgeous color is great yeah, it's a, it's a good looking car. The next stop was checking out the Ford F-150 Lightning. Now, the F-150 has been the best selling truck in the US for 46 years, 45, 46. And it's been the best selling vehicle in the US for 41 years. So it's it's been dominant for a long, long time. Uh, having to carry the name, you know, the F-150 Lightning, uh, I don't think is quite ready for prime time, uh, as m many owners are going to be happy sticking with like their gas-powered uh, version. But it's very fun. There's a lot of cool, like neat aspects to it, and of course the uh, the torque on an electric vehicle. One of the few times I've thought about picking up a pickup truck. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> that was that, a bit, right? yeah that, that's very fun uh wes and i also tried a few other demos uh, we did volkswagen and cadillac um and we did our normally yearly run of the uh, jeep course unfortunately the audio on these are completely scuffed so we're just kind of here to show you but fortunately not a whole lot to share especially without noise uh, some vehicles that were fun to see. There was the Acura NSX, the Alfa Romero Quadrifoglio. I'm butchering that. Uh, the BMW M8, the Buick Wildcat Concept, uh, Corvette E-Ray, 
the Dodge Charger Daytona SRT concept, the Dodge Charger King Daytona Dodge Super B uh, in the classic section. There was a Lamborghini Countach, something that just didn't expect to ever see in person. Maserati MC201, the Nissan Z. I probably will, people will call it like Nissan Z, and that's fine. It just seems too short. This is a personal preference. There's the Ram Rev concept. Uh, there was also a Honda Civic Type R that looked pretty fun. Oh, speaking of Honda, when we reached the Honda section of the show, they were showing off a private jet. I'm not sure what the Venn diagram is of people who attend an auto show and who are also in the market for a private jet, but it was there. So, you know, that's wild to see. To cap off our trip of the show, uh, Wes and I faced off in a head-to-head -head where we raced Volkswagen RC cars, which were like half a show floor away. Uh, I don't know what the tech is on that, but it was cool because it was getting broadcasted to like the screens in front of us. Uh, did Wes pass me as we entered the last lap? Yes. Uh, did I end up winning because his car died just before he reached the finish line and then had to kind of get uh, kickstarted? Also, yes, but I'll take that victory. As always, love the Chicago Auto Show. Look forward to attending again next year. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.